I'm Tia Borden with Mining IR. We are at the 2022 Mines and Money Conference here in London. Beside me is Corey Bielek, CEO of Can Alaska. Corey, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you so much. It's great to be here. Are you back again for a second time? I, I am back. Yeah, I was last year in 2019 pre-COVID, so I'm happy to have that done. And uh, we're here face-to-face -face having some fun. Which is so much better. So much better. Now, you have quite a few projects on the go. Can you tell us, I think all three of them are flagship projects. Yeah, we really were unique. We have three flagship projects, and I say that because last year we had three uranium projects in the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan respond with new discoveries. And that's just an excellent year for us in 2021, and we're looking to move those forward in 2022. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we drilled new mineralized zones on three of those projects, polymetallic zones like a Cigar Lake, like you might find at Key Lake. We drilled high-grade mineralization like you might find at MacArthur River at our other project. And then our new partnership with Denison Mines drilled two new zones of mineralization near their Griffin deposits. So we're pretty excited about the results. A lot on the go. Yeah. What are you most excited about for 2022? We're most excited about moving two of those forward, the two that we control at Waterbury South and West MacArthur, and also what some of the developments in our nickel space in Manitoba too. So we've got lots on the go, we've got lots of interesting things happening, and we're going to have a lot of news flow this year. And I'm going to assume you have a pretty strong team behind you in order to accomplish all the goals that you have for this year. Tell us a little bit about the team. We have an incredible team that we've been building up again over the last uh, few months as we get prepared for this new uranium cycle. And we've got 140 years of Athabasca Basin experience and multiple discoveries on our team. We've assembled that in the last, uh, say, 10, 10 months or so, and we're ready to go as part of this new uranium cycle. We're going to, I'm confident the team will make discoveries. Super exciting. Now, Corey, can you tell us about some of the catalysts that investors should be aware of? Yeah, great catalyst coming forward in 2022. We're going to be drilling at West MacArthur in about five weeks' time. We're going to be advancing there with two drills, working on our 42-zone mineralization where we've drilled 8% uranium already, and we continue to expand on that zone. And we're going to follow up on a new zone just on strike from that, where we're seeing all the right indications of another mineralized zone shaping up. Following that, we're going to be into a new project right near Cameco's Key Lake milling operation, brand new project for us. The geophysics we've just completed looks every bit like one of these basement hosted deposits around the Athabasca Basin, like an arrow or like uh, an eagle point. So we're pretty excited about what could happen there this year. So you've already experienced a lot of success. Now what about challenges? Oh, challenges. Well, challenges. the challenges today are finding the right people to continue to build out that team. And that's, that's a that's tough in a really good market like this. And it will catch up in a few years, but for now we're relying on our networks to try and solve that problem and the people that we know and trust to do the right work and make those discoveries. That's what we're focused on. Now, Corey, before I let you go, is there anything else that you'd like to leave our investors with or our viewers with? Well, stay tuned for Can Alaska and its news flow this year because it's going to be an exciting year. And don't forget about our nickel assets. We're the second largest landholder to Valet in the Thompson Nickel Belt in Manitoba. It's the fifth largest nickel district on the planet. And we're right there with them and we're exploring. And uh, it's going to be a fun ride. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's to come. Corey, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. It's a real pleasure.